So we take a week off now going into the break at three and one. That is great to hear and they'll come back to face the struggling Giants in the next game here at Mile High in just a few weeks. All right, Matt, I got to ask you, though, the offense, it really struggled today outside of the touchdown to A.J. Derby. No points coming inside of the red zone at all. What would they say about their red zone struggles right now? Basically, we couldn't get a direct answer from any of them. Most of them were just saying they know the struggles are there and they can't quite put their finger on what it is, but they do have to figure it out because right now the first quarter Broncos offense, it looks like a Super Bowl team, but once they get past the first quarter, everything goes sideways and they can't seem to find the end zone. And let's be honest, Brandon McManus cannot lead this offense throughout an entire season and into the playoffs. Uh, no, they cannot. Been outscored very badly in the fourth quarter. All right, now I got to imagine the defense beaming with confidence shades of 2015 right now. Uh, I know they can't win it all alone, but they probably feel like if they need to, they probably could. They feel pretty invincible. I mean, talking with various guys from Adam Gotsis over to Akib to leave, they just feel like they're firing on all cylinders. And one of the biggest things for them is that run defense, their ability to hold Ezekiel Elliott and Marshawn Lynch to barely any yards over their last two home games. That tells something that they've got that part of the defense finally clicking such a struggle last year, and we know what the no-fly zone can do. So this defense is definitely playing at a 2015 level right now. Like you said, though, we need the offense to click, and then we'll really have an all-around great team. Yeah, and they got to do it on the road. Last thing before I let you go, 3-1 and one headed in the bye week. A very good record after the first quarter is done. Do we need to fire up the Snapchat and the Twitter? What did they say about the bye week plans? I mean, it was kind of varied. Benny Fowler said he was just looking to kick up his feet, maybe play some video games, just kind of hang out, do his basic workouts. Then he had other guys that seemed like they were just focused. Will Parks seemed like he was going to keep up his exact same workout regimen and can't wait to get back at it. So I think each guy is going to kind of do what they want to do. We know Vaughn will be on Instagram and Snapchat plenty, but that's just any week. <laughs> no doubt about it. All right, Matt, that is Matt Pritchard live. At Mile High Stadium, thank you, Matt. Broncos moving on to the bye week. And after that, they are in second place in the AFC West right now. Chiefs on top is the only undefeated team in the NFL. Broncos in second, 3-1. and one. Raiders 2-2. Two and two. Chargers bringing up the rear. Man, the Chargers.